Hello Year 6, welcome to your literacy video for Wednesday. Well done on your reading work yesterday, you all did a brilliant job, so well done. We are back on writing today, but just before we get started, I just want to quickly recap your spellings for this week, because we're halfway through the week now, we've got two more days before our spelling test, um, so you should be practising them, you should be on Ed Shed, so you should have a good understanding of your spellings by now, so let's have a look then. So just a reminder that your spelling rule this week is the or sound spelled A-R. So you've got war, warm, towards, ward, wardrobe, dwarf, swarm, reward, wart and award. Okay, so I've got a little spelling challenge for you today. Before we get started on our work, um, so I've got my interactive dice here. I'm going to roll it. And then depending on what we land on, that's what we're going to have a go at. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's roll our dice. Okay, we've landed on number five. So five says, write out nine and ten and draw a picture for each to show what they mean. Okay, so nine and ten. Nine is what? Ten is a ward. So write those words out practice spelling them and then draw me a picture to show what each one means and then that will show me that you understand it you understand the meaning of those words okay let's roll again wait for our dice to load okay we've got six this time six says write out all of your spellings so that's your second challenge just write them all out practice them all Okay, let's do another one. Number two. This one says write two and six with your left hand. Let's have a look then. Two and six. Two is war. Six is dwarf. Okay, so your challenge is to write with the hand you don't usually write with. So if you usually write with your left hand, then that's cheating a little bit. Use your right. So it should be quite difficult. So whichever one you don't usually write with, have a go. That's your challenge. Okay, we'll do one more. Let's have a look. Oh, we've done number five. Let's roll again. Oh, we've done number six. Let's roll again. Number four. So it says, write a silly sentence that has both five and eight in. So five and eight, five is wardrobe, eight is reward. So your challenge for this one is to write me a silly sentence, the funnier the better, with wardrobe in and reward in. Okay? So if you've got your own dice at home, maybe from a board game or something, you could have a go. You could write your own rules. Just write six rules, roll it. And then just have it sort of fun way of practicing your spellings. Okay, don't forget to take a quick picture of it for me and send it on the email for today. Okay, your work for today then. So your learning question today is can I use the senses in my writing to improve my descriptions? Now we are back in our word power book for today. Now, please don't worry if you haven't got one of these. I know who you are, so I'll take a picture, I'll scan it in, and I'll make sure I email it to you so that you can do the work for today. So, we are on pages 30 and 31. Now, these are our last two pages in our Word Power Workbook, and then we're finished. Okay, and if you remember, last before half term, I asked you not to do these two because I wanted to save them, because these are going to help us with our writing this week. OK, so we're doing both pages today and then that's this, that's all of our literacy work because it's quite a lot of writing. OK. So, so that's not, it gets a bit boring just writing about what things look like all the time. It's much more interesting if you can write descriptions using all five of your senses. OK, so remember your senses are what you can see, what you can hear, what you can smell what you can feel or touch, and what you can hear. Have I said that one? Taste, that's the one I didn't say. So yeah, what you can hear, feel, see, 
smell and taste. Okay, so they're your five senses that we're going to be describing today. We've done this in school before, so you have you have got some knowledge of this, so we're just building on that today. You will see then in your book, you've got something a bit like this. So you've got five bubbles for each uh, sense. And then in the middle, it says my favourite place. Okay, but we're all going to do the same place and we're going to change that. And we're going to do on holiday. Because that's going to help us with our writing on Friday. Okay, because on Friday, we're going to be writing a postcard imagining we are on holiday so we need to do something today that's going to help us because then you can just nick things from here when you do your writing on friday okay so you've got five different bubbles similar to mine um that you've just got to put some notes in so you haven't got to write big sentences you haven't got to write a paragraph just some notes of things you might be able to smell things you might be able to see and so on so for example if you were here on holiday in a lovely sunny place on a beach, what might you be able to hear? Um, I think I'd be able to hear waves. Okay, so you don't need adjectives or anything in here, just words is fine. Okay, and that's going to help us when we write our sentences. What else might we be able to hear? Might be able to hear seagulls. Okay, I might be able to hear children if I'm on a beach. Okay, I might be able to hear laughing, that might be the children laughing, or adults. Okay, you don't need many, I'd say maybe about four. Okay, what can you feel? So you might be able to feel wind if you're near the sea, it's normally quite windy. You might be able to feel the heat. Um, you might be able to feel the sand on your toes. Okay, have a think. You might be able to feel the sea if you're paddling. What can you see? I think sea is one of the easiest ones. You can just list loads of things that you can see. So what can you see here? So you can see palm trees. Oh, you can see the sea. You can see sand. Yeah, there's lots of things you can see. You might be able to see the sun. You might be able to see the horizon, which is the furthest bit there. Okay, so you just list some things that you can see in that box. What can you taste? Okay, taste, I would say, is one of the hardest ones to do. Have a think what you might eat while you're at the beach. So I think you might be able to taste ice cream. You might be able to taste a drink. You're probably going to need a drink if you're really hot. Okay, and you can describe how refreshing it is to have a nice cool drink. And what might you be able to smell? I think you'd be able to smell sun cream. Okay, you might be able to smell the sea. It's got a certain smell, hasn't it? Like the sea air. Okay, you have a think then what else you might be able to smell. Okay, so your challenge now then, you can pause the video, go away and have a go at doing four different things, at least four, you can do more if you want to, four different things in each one, so four things you can hear, four things you can feel, and so on, okay? Once you've done that then, underneath it says, write a sentence for each of the five bubbles above. So you've got to write five sentences. So I'm going to write a sentence about what I can hear. Okay, so let me just go back and have a look at what I wrote. So I wrote waves, seagulls, children laughing. Okay, so we're just going to write in first person. So with I, okay, I can hear children laughing. and playing. Okay. Now it didn't say that I had to include anything else in my sentence, so that sentence is fine. Okay, so that's my sentence about what I can hear. Okay, and then you want to do your sentence about what you can see, what you can feel, what you can taste, and so on. So you have five sentences. Okay. 
Then on the next page, it says, look back at your sentences on page 30. Try to improve them by adding adjectives or extra details or both. Now, I've done a word bank for you today. Okay, so you can pause the video now. Um, I know it's not that clear though. I think you can see most of the words, um, but I'll take a proper picture of it um, for you and send it on the Marvelous Me link with the video this morning. And then if you're still struggling to see it, just drop me an email and I'll, I'll send it over for you. Okay, so you can use this word bank to help you improve your sentences on page 31. So let's just have a quick look. My sentence was, I can hear children laughing and playing. Okay. So let's have a look then. What could I start with? So I could start with something that's not on my word bank, like um, all around me. I can start with rather than just starting with I, I could start with in the distance or at the something beach. So all around me, I can hear. Okay, and then. I'm going to go back to my word bank and have a look, see if I can find an adjective to describe the children. So let's have a look. So to describe the children, I've got cheerful. That would describe them, wouldn't it, if they were laughing? So all around me, I can hear cheerful. Children. Laughing. Okay, let's finish it off. So all around me, I can hear cheerful children laughing and playing. And then I could add an adjective to describe how they are playing, couldn't I? Sorry, an adverb. So let's go back, have a look. So they are playing loudly. Okay, so... All around me, I can hear cheerful children laughing, laughing and playing loudly. Okay. So that's your task for today. That's your main task. So your first job is to write five simple sentences about what you can, all the different sentences. Then on page 31, so on here, you then need to have a go at improving those five sentences like I've done here. So I added a bit of a starter, I added a, an adjective and I added an adverb. Okay, remember to use your word bank. Then your challenge is to do the next bit. Okay, so it says you can describe one thing with more than one sense to give your writing a boost. Can you write about rooms in your school or home using more than one sense? So I'm going to leave that one a little bit up to you. So it's up to you if you want to do what it says and write about rooms in your school or home, or if you want to do it about the holiday setting, because you've probably got quite a lot of ideas after doing all of that about the holiday setting. So you can use that if you want to. And your challenge is to describe one thing using more than one sense. So for example, they have said, our noisy classroom is bright. Okay, so... They're describing what you can see and hear in the same sentence. OK, so I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Remember, the more effort you put in today in your work, it will be easier on Friday. Because if you write some really super sentences today, you will just be able to take them out of your Word Power Book and into your writing book on Friday. OK, so don't forget to take a picture of your literacy work for today. Don't worry if you haven't got the Word Power Workbook. I will send over a picture for you. Um, and I look forward to seeing all of your work. I'll see you tomorrow.